Hi guys, my name is Tom Antos and today I'm going to be uh, testing out and sort of reviewing this uh, DSLR camera rig. It's supposed to work with, uh, I think, with all, kind of, uh, all kinds of DSLR cameras. Anyways, the, this whole rig comes like this, this nice case. Uh, it's from a company called uh, DV City. I'm going to provide all the links on, on my website, tomantosfilms.com. Uh, and yeah, let's just, uh, you know, I've never actually opened this thing, so I'm just going to test it out right now along with you guys. So as you can see, whole thing opens up and what do we have here? Yeah, there's like multiple layers here. So take out this part, instructions, and then the rest of the, the parts. So I'll just sort of take out everything one by one. It comes with, uh, with a foul focus. Let's take it out. Well, it looks pretty pretty smooth and solid here. Uh, I don't see it, it doesn't look like it has any hard stops on it, but it does have a marker and it works with 15 millimeter rails so you can sort of clump it on you don't have to slide it all the way through. It also comes with this other cool little I forgot what, what's the name of these but it's it's kind of allows you to to manually quickly just change the focus by just you know pushing this this lever. It also comes with a with a matte box, has this little hood shade, and um, yeah, it looks pretty solid. It even comes with this um, microphone shock mount, which I don't think I'll be using, but but it's here. Okay, here's our uh, main base plate, and then the the, the rail system here. Uh, it has the flags for the matte box. Comes with a nice looking top handle. Oh, comes with another one of these focus, or I guess you can use it for zoom too. Uh, uh, these little devices, I'm not even sure what they're called. Comes with a handle. One, and then here's the other one. Comes with different different size uh, gear uh, gears for your your lenses. They're not cinema style lenses, but so that you can still use it with your. Uh, with your uh, fellow focus. It comes with a nice big weight, so I guess to offset, you know, sort of uh, to take off the, the weight, so it's not just so, uh, the camera's not so front heavy. And I believe that's everything in this main case. It comes also with a little, uh, a little like a strap. I think that's for the case, actually. Some tools, Allen keys, things like that. Then you take this piece, put it like that, we'll just tighten it. Now I'm going to take these, uh, basically the main base plate uh, assembly and feed the rods through there. And take this and sort of feed it in through here so that we end up uh, offset, offsetting basically the shoulder plate. So that I'm guessing it's supposed to go like this if you're, you know, right-handed. All right, next thing we'll do is take these big pieces here. There's two of these and just sort of feed it in through here. And that will create sort of our cage around the camera. So. And the other one, actually, I have to take off the shoulder pad and I'll just put the other one here on the back like this. Okay, so we have these two things mounted like that. I put two rods up here on the top and that's where I can feed right away the top handle. Okay, and I'll take the other rod here, do the same thing. Okay, so we have a top handle mounted. Oh, there's a lot of these rods up here which is a good thing. It allows you to attach a lot of accessories. So again, two more rods go here on the side. And on the back of it, I'm gonna attach this piece, a little V-shaped thing, and that allows us to put the, the counterweight on it. And then these weights, just sort of screw it into here. So that should, yeah, that takes the weight, like kind of shifts it back behind your shoulder, which is, makes it easier here. Especially since, you know, these cameras now are kind of, they're making the, the rigs very front heavy. It also comes with this little hair piece that you can mount it on any of the rails, really, on the top, the bottom side. And it literally, all, all it is, is it's an, an inactive uh, hot shoe adapter. So if you have, you know, a microphone or something that, uh, that uh, or some other accessory that, that you usually attach to the top of your, your camera, there's a hot shoe mount. And now you'll be able to attach it here to the top, which is kind of cool. So I'll just put it here on the front of these top rails. Okay, now for the handles, take the shorter rods and we're just going to feed them through here. 
and then attach I think this part here and that allows us to attach the handles here and sort of like adjust the angle of it this way and also that way so that's a pretty cool design so we've got these two handles that are mounted like this now yeah this is kind of how we can hold it now we can put the fallow focus up here it's nice because it's one of those fallow focus that you just kind of snaps on the top so you do not have to remove your handles to, to put them fallow focus on and you can just slide, slide the mud packs in on the front of the rails here for the mud packs we can put these uh, tap flag here on this side we'll put this flag side one and then the other flag here on the other side so that pretty much you know finishes i guess the, the construction of the of the rig itself now i'm going to put the camera in right away what i do like about it is that i can uh, you know have the camera basically here right in front of me so i can see the, the lcd of the camera you know and and you know because the the shoulder pad kind of offsets everything to the side so i'll just grab the the sony a7s and i'll mount it on this now to mount the camera onto the rig you'll take the base plate you know just put it on there uh, i'm also going to use right now this uh, rocking on 24 millimeter t1.5 uh cine lens and uh you know you should probably take off you know the the strap here for the camera but right now just just for this quick test i'm uh i'm just gonna do it like this so slide it in there now the mud packs uh, has this cool thing here that you can kind of like it's this you know cloth that you kind of wrap around your lens here and that makes sure that you don't have any light leaks between between the front of your lens and the the filters of your mud packs uh, the only thing is that if i don't know if you guys can see it here but the mud packs is already in its lowest position whereas the camera i put it as high as i can now this is a pretty small camera it's the sony a7s uh, so maybe without the cameras you wouldn't have that problem but with the sony a7s you see the problem is that the lens does not really line up it should be the camera should be a bit higher and since i can't put the camera any higher or the mud packs any lower then it's kind of useless in this you know the configuration because it's you know I, I mean you can't use it but ideally the lens should be like you know dead, dead, dead in the middle of the, of the mud packs uh, so i would have to use some kind of a risers or something there to, to put the camera a little bit you know a little bit higher so that's one thing that sucks this works follow focus works nicely and uh, I think that's pretty much it. That's that's how we would set up the solar rig. So you know it it works as you can see with the with the small camera. I mean this is probably one of the smallest cameras to be using, a Sony A7S. Um, and overall, I mean you know the rig feels sturdy. Um, like I was saying before, I, I do like the fact that the camera is like dead in front of your your face, so you don't have to do this. You know to look at the the, the LCD on the back of the camera. Uh, but then again, you know, if you're going to be using a monitor, maybe, maybe it doesn't matter if you have the camera a bit to the side, I don't know. The, the mud packs, like I said, I'm not a big fan of it, simply because it, it doesn't swing away. Uh, you can't put it any lower than this. And it's, yeah, it's not the, the best material out there, but, you know, if, if it's your first mud packs, you, you, you know, it will do the job. You can put in the 4x4 filters here on the top. It's like a good beginner mud packs, but if, you know, if you've worked in the film industry for a while, you probably want to upgrade later on to something a little bit better and uh, more, you know, more robust. Uh, the fallow focus, it feels very smooth. And one thing that is kind of cool is they give you this quick handle here for, for the fallow focus. So that does make life easier. It's a very nice sturdy handle for it. I do like the shoulder pad, very comfortable, extra weight. Like I said, sort of helps balance the camera a little bit more. Um, you know, the top handle, that seems sturdy, like it doesn't move around, so that's that's good and well built. Also, it's cool because they have, like I said here, uh, you know, the the, the hot shoe adapter on the on the front that you put, but also one up here on the actual rig, and you can you can attach it in different places here here, so you can attach another you know uh, accessory to it, uh, like a, let's say your audio recorder or, or a microphone. Uh, so overall, I gotta say that it's you know. It's a, it's a promising rig and it's and it's if you've never had a rig I guess you know uh, for your DSLR camera uh, or you know you can use this with the, with the black magic cameras uh, you know or like even Sony A7S or, uh, or with uh, or with the Sony FS700 for example uh, it does allow you you know there's a lot of attachment points and it has those cool little two shoe uh, hot shoe uh, mounts on here for your microphones and, and audio recorders and accessories so that's cool and uh, 
yeah, and, you know, it will get it will get the job done. So kind of mixed feelings on this one. But anyways, if you guys are interested, you want to find out more info about where to get this rig uh, and also, you know, other cool little, you know, uh, filmmaking accessories that this company makes, then uh, check out my links at tomantusfilms.com. Thank you guys and see you next time.